Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we are going to make sparks using the Unity Particle System. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to sparks underscore particle system. Reset its transform. Now inside the renderer, set the max particle size to 3. After that, set the Y rotation to minus 90 degrees. Move it on the Z, on the Y axis a little bit. After that, set the duration to 1 and lifetime to random between two constants. Set the values to 0 0.2 and 0.5 okay after that we're going to set the speed to 0 and uh, start size will be 1 and start start size will be random between two constants and the values will be 0.5 and 0.7 and inside emission set the value to 5 okay now go to color over lifetime here the values will be this one will be red and this one would be yellow and the alpha value of this one will be zero after that we will check size over lifetime and we will have a graph that will look like this add a key here and here and here as well now drag these keys down like this and yeah this is how our graph will look after that we will uncheck shape okay now I will duplicate this box effect by pressing ctrl plus D parent it now let's remove this one from here after that after that i will set the renderer to stretched billboard and the speed scale will be 0 0.1 and the length scale will stay at 2 here the start lifetime will be random between two constants and the value will be 0 0.7 and 2 gravity will be 1 and uh, inside emission the value will be 50 okay now here we'll set the y rotation to 0 if it is set to 90 we will check shape and it will be a cone and the angle will be 20 degrees and the radius will be 0.15 currently you cannot see it because I've turned off all the wired outlines you can see it now next check size over lifetime and our size will be something like this like this one after that check collision and select world dampen will be 0 0.5 bounce will be 0 0.5 life loss will be 0 now 
set the radius to something small such as 0.2 I think that looks better make sure the rotation and everything is at zero now give a speed to your particle system let's try with one two three four and five I think that looks fine let's reposition it a little bit like this yeah that looks better now create a new particle system and rename this one to shine shiny underscore particle system same set the max particle size to three after that set the duration to one lifetime to random between two constants values will be 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 and set the start speed to zero check 3d start size the values will be random between two constants and the value will be 2.5 and 1 0 0.25 and 0 0.1 and 1 and 1 after that set the rotation to random between two constants values will be minus 360 to 360 and the start color will be random between two colors first one will be orange and the second one will be a lighter orange kind of color okay now I'll set the alpha value to 50 both of them after that uncheck shape and set the emission to 15 and inside color over lifetime set the alpha values to zero from start and end that's it and inside size over lifetime i'll set a graph select a graph something like this and now let's test it now we start it and I think it looks good but our box a little too big for the purpose let's change this one to 0 0.4 and yes this looks better increase the size of this one okay our particles are not centrally aligned so let's unparent them and set this one to zero and now again set these one to zero zero and pad them again to the sparks now raise this one on a little bit on the y-axis and reposition it now you can make a better effect by creating a texture of your own just open photoshop create a new file of 512 by 512 paint the background with black create a new layer set the color to white now choose a brush and the brush should be a soft brush like this one and the size is I think the size is fine so we, or you can change the size from here I think the size is fine inside the middle of the screen just press one time and that's it hide the background and save it as a png point of light and save it as a png i'm saving it to my downloads next i am going to import my point of light 
into my project and check out why it's transparent now here i'll create a new material and i will rename it to sparks underscore matte change the shader to legacy shaders particles and additive after that drag and drop the point of light drag and drop this point of light onto this it's the first one the second one and third one i think something is wrong what is wrong oh sorry i dropped the drag and drop it here first one the second one and the third one yes drag and drop the material and that is how we create sparks in unity using the unity particle system move these a little bit ahead okay this should be at this should be at zero but move these a little bit ahead not this one but this one move this one a little bit ahead like this and i think you can increase the size of your shiny up to one no that not doesn't look good shiny is this one so, so yeah it looks amazing this is how we create sparks using the unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and press the bell icon for the upcoming videos we will see you in a new video goodbye